Krista. Hi, I'm Missy, and obviously we're on Lake Wiley, South Carolina, coming to you from my neighbors, Jeff and Donna. Hey, we love you from the top of their dock. Welcome to Lake Wiley Yoga Social. We're going to be doing a really just nice, gentle vinyasa flow that anyone can do. And we're going to get started here in just a moment. We're going to take just a few rounds of nice cleansing breaths before we get going. So just take a nice inhale through your nose and just exhale out. Just take another inhale and take an exhale out. One more inhale and exhale. We'll start to use your ujjayi breath. So inhale through your nose, seal your lips and exhale out through your nose. We'll use this breath throughout the rest of this vinyasa flow, but know at any time if you want to take an open mouth exhale, just allow yourself to breathe, however that is for you. So if you find that you're inhaling differently than us, that's okay. Just use your breath, moving your breath with each movement. Mm. On your next inhale, bring your arms up over your head. Then as you exhale, just release your arms down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, drop your right ear to your shoulder just for a nice gentle stretch and hold here for a few rounds of breath. Hmm. On your next inhale, rise back up and then we'll drop the ear down to the other shoulder. And then inhale, rise up, plant your hands on your mat and we're going to move into tabletop position. So in tabletop position, just like it sounds, you can see here where Missy's at continuing to breathe, you look just like a table, pulling your belly button into your spine. We're going to run through a little bit of cat and cow here. So as you inhale for cow pose, drop your belly, send your gaze forward, your tailbone reaches up and exhale cat pose round through your spine and inhale cow pose and exhale for cat so just keep moving here your breath to your movement if you'd like to add on anything else though that feels good in your body you can do that right now so maybe you want to rock your hips from side to side you can roll your wrists out a little bit or maybe take a few more neck rolls here We'll just be here for a few rounds of breath. Just whatever you do, move breath to movement. And if you did something on one side, make sure to do it on the other. But wherever you're at, let's meet back in that neutral tabletop position. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Press a lot into this heel part of your hand. Spread your fingers out really wide. Missy's got a great downward facing dog, but if right now your hamstrings feel really tight, take a deep bend in your knees here and maybe begin to pedal out one foot at a time, walking your dog here. But let your head hang heavy, your gaze behind you. Just keep breathing. We're gonna start right away into our sun A. So inhale, look to the top of your mat, Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Now hold your mountain pose as you continue to breathe right here. Ground down into your legs. And exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank. Now we did a video on a Sun A Chaturanga, so we're just gonna move right through this. Hug the elbows in, untuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna flow to the Sun A two more times. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Rise all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank, or maybe lower to your knees. 
Shift forward, lower halfway down or your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll flow one more time. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, float or jump to the top or walk. Exhale, inhale, forward fold. I don't know where we're going. Very good. Mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to that high plank. Flow through your chaturanga. We meet back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in once you get there. Big breath out. We're gonna add on, start our sun B. So from here, inhale, lift your right leg up high. Take a moment, dial your hip down, flex the toe so it's pointing down to your mat. So your right hip is gonna dial down. Yes, you've got that. Exhale, draw your knee to your chest as you step your foot all the way through in between your hands. But if it doesn't reach, just take your hand, shimmy it forward. Press a lot through the toe of your back foot. Inhale, warrior two. So spin the back foot down so it's parallel to the back of your mat and then burst open. Your arms come out wide. Send your gaze forward to the top of your mat. So in this warrior two, your front knee is pointing right to the middle of your middle toe of your foot. Your hips are open, sink down, but you don't want that knee to come any farther out than your front heel. We're gonna hold here as you breathe in and let it go. One more breath in, then exhale, extended side angle. So shift forward, legs stay where they are. Then your hand can come to your thigh or begin to shift down. So here, Look how Missy is really opening up wide. Take a little weight out of that bottom hand, lift up a little higher. From here, we're gonna inhale, reverse warrior. Legs stay exactly where they are. Let's high five the lake, Missy. Square our shoulders and exhale, cartwheel all the way down. We're gonna take a chaturanga, dandasana, so stepping back to a high plank with our core. Shift forward, halfway down, untuck the toes. Is your mat getting hot? Yes. Yes, it is. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to inhale, lift the left leg up high, toe points down, dial the left hip down, exhale, draw your knee to your chest as you step it through for your low lunge. Really work here. Make this nice and strong. Set up a good foundation before we inhale, lift up for your warrior two. Burst open. Send your gaze forward. Sink down a little lower. Then we exhale, extended side angle. Shift forward. Maybe bring your hand to your thigh, lift the top hand up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, cartwheel all the way down. Step back to the high plank. Take your version, however you wanna get there. We meet back, downward facing dog. We're gonna flow through that now, breath to movement. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it all the way through. Inhale, burst open, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Cartwheel down, step back, maybe lower to your knees or take the full expression, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left side. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, burst open, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Oh, wrong way, sorry. That's okay. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, cartwheel down. Step back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're doing it one more time, Missy, nice right. and hot. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, burst open, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, shift, then lower. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel down to your mat. Step back to the high plank. We meet however you'd like to get there. Maybe you hold the high plank and downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, burst open. Warrior two, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel down, stepping back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're adding on. 
Inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. But this time, spin your back foot down at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. So your arms come up over your head. Maybe though here, you need to step your legs out differently, like railroad tracks, to get your hips straight. So you wanna bring that left hip up in line with the right. So I need to step my legs out a little wider. Then the arms come back over your head, here. Take one more breath in, then exhale, bring a bind behind your back. Lift up through your chest, and exhale, humble warrior. Begin to hinge forward. You can always rest your shoulder on your thigh. Squeeze your inner thighs together a lot. So try to, there you go, Missy. Try to bring the hips in line so you're pulling through your inner thighs to keep that hip from bumping out. Pull it back in to squeeze through your inner thighs. One more breath. As you inhale, rise all the way back up. Bring your arms back up over your head for your warrior one. As we exhale into warrior two, maybe pick up your feet here to reposition them. You want the front heel to dissect the back arch of your foot as you sink back down. Inhale up star pose. So your toes are pointing out wide. Your arms are coming out like a big star. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. So hinging straight from your hips, diving all the way down. Let this stretch feel good. Bring more weight into the toes of your feet, not your heels, so you're not hinging back. Inhale, halfway lift, so use your core strength here, and then begin to walk your hands to the front of your mat to a low lunge. Inhale, step your legs together to touch. Come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. For eagle on the left, or right actually, wrap your right arm under your left first, then pick your right leg up and over. Now I like to kickstand my foot here. You can always bind it around. As you sink your hips down, begin to lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Imagine yourself against an imaginary wall behind you. As you sink down, lifting up, feel that stretch in your shoulders and your back, at the same time that strength in your legs. One more big breath. Then slowly unwind your arms and your legs. Inhale, rise up mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank. Then come right into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge, step it all the way through. Again, this time, spin that back foot down at a 45 degree angle. Then you rise up for your warrior one. Again, I like to step my foot out a little wider to help bring my right hip this time in line with my left by squeezing through my inner thighs, pushing through that back heel, palms facing each other. Take one more breath in, then take a bind behind your back. Lift up through your chest and exhale, humble warrior. Again, same thing this time, trying to keep that hip from bumping out, squeeze the thighs together. There you go, one straight line, squeeze through your glutes, push through that back leg. Take one more breath in, one more breath out, then inhale, rise all the way back up. Bring your arms over your head. Exhale, warrior two. So again, maybe picking up your feet here so that you find that front foot heel all the way as it dissects your back arch. Inhale, up to star pose. Exhale, we'll take one more wide leg forward fold. So hinging from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Then you walk to the top of your mat for a low lunge. Inhale, step your legs together. Come to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain pose. For eagle on the left, wrap your left arm this time under your right. Lift your left leg up and over. Begin to sink your hips down as you begin to lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Find one spot to focus on, and maybe that's just your arms. You could always take your hands on your shoulders. One more big breath in, and as you exhale, unwind your arms, 
unwind your legs. Inhale, rise back up through your mountain pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank. Take a breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. So for half pigeon, you come down on your mat. Your knee comes right behind your elbow. The back leg nice and straight. Now, if this is not comfortable, you can always come into a supine half pigeon, which is a figure four lying on your back, which I'll show here in just a moment. But if this feels good, like Missy's showing, you can come down into a sleeping pigeon. If this is not comfortable, you can just come down onto your back into a simple figure four stretch here. But if that feels good, just hold that for a breath, then inhale, rise up. Take that back leg long in front of you, bring it around to the front. So bring this leg long in front. For a half staff pose, you're gonna bring that in front. The other leg is right in the crease of your hip. Bring your arms over your head. And exhale, just get a nice forward fold. And rise all the way back up. Now that leg that's long in front, we're just gonna bend it in front of you and then bring that right leg back behind, coming right in to your half pigeon on the other side. And you can breathe in and just allow yourself to fold forward or take that supine half pigeon on the other side. Or you can just stay right here. You can feel a little bit more stretch in your hip flexor than that glute. And then when you're ready, just rise up. Now we're gonna take that leg that's long behind, bring it all the way in front, lift your arms overhead, and we're just gonna take that half staff forward fold. And then just rise all the way back up, crossing your legs here, and knowing that it, at this point, if you'd like to add on any more stretching or any more poses, maybe a bridge pose or take anything else at mm -hmm. this point, um, camel, you can do some floor bow or some core work, or maybe do our 19 challenge. Right, this is a good warm up for that. Great time to do it. But at this point, we're gonna end this practice. And we'd like to take our hands first to our heart center. And then we'll bring our thumbs up to our third eye, that space right in between our eyebrows. Both myself and Missy, we're so grateful that you joined us today. We bow to you and each other, and we say namaste. 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 namaste.